Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the media, and thanks for your prompt response. Um, although it's now old news, it has been in the press already, some of the papers, we thought it was um, of utmost importance for you to come and see for yourself how these drugs are sometimes concealed. And um, as usual, to help fight us uh, these ills uh, of, of drug trafficking, <coughs> we are blessed today in that we have uh, our scientific uh, expert, Dr. Lutik, and he will have shared more answers to your questions with regard to the substances and so on. Uh, on the 17th of December, December at around 11, the members of the Enforcement Division, Drug Enforcement Division were informed that two female persons on their way to South Africa, uh, the information further revealed that they are hitchhiking via using the Transcalari Highway, uh, and they were spotted at a restaurant in Klein Windhoek. So our dra uh, Drug Enforcement Unit uh, responded to the suspicious individuals they initially interrogated them and finally took them into their offices where they searched their luggage. Their luggage. Um, in one of the luggage, they found 10 kilograms, 260 grams of white looking powder. In the second suitcase, um, they found Attached to the, 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 in the second case, the other subject of false, they discovered that these were not real threads. Although the packaging showed that it was threads on top and even labeled that this is mainly threads. Even if you scan it through the machine, you just think it's, it's just thread and clothing. But when you take the threads out, below the threads, there is a tape. And below that tape, that's where you find. Uh, small sachets of like the money bags with whitish powder that is wrapped into there. So the two suspects are females and the age are ranging, uh, one is 26 year old, she's a national of Zimbabwe and the second one is a 38 year old South African national, both females. The substance was later identified to be ephedrine, schedule four. And, and for that technical, I think I will leave that to Dr. Ludwig. I won't even venture going into that. He will tell you what uh, after Dream Schedule 4 is capable of doing and so on. Maybe I just have to add on commending the members that during this year, one and a half ton of DACA was seized by the Drug Law Enforcement Unit. 3,250 Mantrax tablets plus minus were seized by them. So as uh, 1.6 kilogram of cocaine powder. So, and now the 20 kg plus of uh, this ephedrine powder, which is capable of manufacturing tick. Um, and I think they should be commended for that. First, yes, Dr. Lutik. Commissioner, thank you very much. <clears throat> yes, I think the, the big concern, uh, if we look at ephedrine, ephedrine heralds a new method or a new approach in terms of the illicit substances and the way they manifest themselves in our market. Uh, the biggest concern, of course, it is also the precursor of many of the illicit or the prohibited substances. Now, that is of major concern to us, uh, seemingly so that on the one hand, uh, one, when found with it, you would obviously then uh, be in possession of a precursor but not the ultimate product. But at the same time, the seriousness of the possession of this substance should never be underestimated. Simply because you are one short step away from the other amphetamine analogs. And that means ecstasy and all the street names that you've included, tick and all those things that, that has found their way into our region. But the illicit substances that you are referring to, the, the ecstasies and that, it's, very, it's relatively simple and easy for a lay person in possession of the ephedrine as we discussed to ultimately manufacture these illicit substances were with relative ease and with fairly low cost. It'll be possible for, for these, for the amphetamine or the ecstasies and all those to be manufactured. So from that perspective, I think we should regard this find in a very serious light. First, it would be now a little plastic with a drug wrapped around here. And then over here comes the thread, the real thread. And I'm sure we took some of the, yeah, here the threads, some of it, or even there. So the threads come over it, 
And then, obviously, the packaging comes across next week. So when you see it, even through the X-ray machine, you see a genuine threat with a genuine label. But uh, these people know their job, and obviously it wasn't difficult for them to, to discover there's something more to, to it.